Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, March 3rd, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at, S at scroundtable.com over the past week. Uh, first up, um, if you were sleeping the whole February, we posted our March 2017 Google Webmaster Report covering topics like the February 7th update, uh, was it phantom or not, covering the news around naturalnews.com being penalized by Google, um, which is a lot of controversy around that, why some sites may have seen a significant drop in Google image search traffic, as well as emojis returning to the search results and Miley Ohe from Google leaving. So if you want to catch up on the past month of news and you haven't been watching the videos, that's a good way to check it, uh, check it out. Otherwise, if you're watching the videos, you pretty much are all caught up. Uh, talking about the past week, natural news um, is back in the Google Index. Last week we said that they were penalized, and within a few days, I think it was like a Monday or so, they actually returned to Google's index um, after, I guess, submitting a reconsideration request. Um, Natural News still denies they did anything wrong. They still are telling everybody that it was related to being pro-Trump, um, and it's very interesting to see that, either though, even, even though Google specifically went on record saying they were penalized specifically for sneaky mobile redirects. Um, so they must have fixed that, otherwise Google would not have put them back, even with the pressure that was put out there. Fun topic. All right, Google's officially released tips for closing a site for a day or so. So we've been talking about this for a while, uh, specifically around Shabbos or Sabbath obser observers, where Jewish people go offline, uh, including myself, for a 25-hour period, Friday night through Saturday night, and also on holidays as well. And certain... Um, groups of Jewish people actually take it a step further and say they're going to take off their website so people can't actually view the website or do commerce on the website. So John Mueller and I were talking about this for a long time, um, and now finally John Mueller wrote a blog post on the Google Webmaster blog with three options on how to handle such um, closures. It doesn't have to only apply to Sabbath observers. Anybody who wants to take off their site for a day or so could do it. Uh, one is to block the cart functionality from Google. Another one is to show an interstitial pop-up but make sure to serve up a 503 or to switch off your whole entire website again to turn on a 503. And he gives, goes through a lot of detail on actually how to do that. So definitely take a look at the blog post if you are interested in closing your site for a day. Um, Google, supposedly, uh, for Panda, it's John Mueller said John Mueller said this, that it takes into account um, site architecture for regarding to site quality. So, obviously, people have been talking about this for a while, even the early people, like Vanessa Fox, who were saying, hey, a lot of this Panda stuff has to do around how you architecture your website. And yes, Google takes into account that, and Google confirmed that. I don't think it's the first time Google confirmed that, but it's good to have, again, on record from Google. Um, a former Googler named Murat, I cannot, cannot pronounce his last name, um, I'll try, Yatagan, um, basically tweeted a question to John Mueller for SEO help. He said, if a site targets X and Y business, but number the number of pages on X topic, on X pages, is 30 times the number of pages on the Y topic, is it, imp is it an important disadvantage for ranking for Y's queries? So you have more pages on X you want to rank for Y as well. Is Y at a disadvantage? And John Mueller said no. Most impressive is this guy getting this tweet with such a detailed question in 140 characters. So congratulations to that. And an interesting question and topic in general. Um, John Mueller retweeted a screenshot from an SEO showing how he was able to, he said he decreased his, reduced his load time on a server by about half, 50%. And with that, um, you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit see here that the pages crawl per day spiked up, the download kilobits per day spiked up, and the time spent downloading a page dropped. And all this because he increased his um, he increased his uh, site, uh, his, his server load by about half, he said. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, John Mueller also said that Google's top stories and Google News are completely independent, independent features of each other, which we knew. This actually happened back in 2014 when Google removed the in the news box or they actually the Google news box and they actually replaced it with in the news box or top stories um, which actually brought in things like Reddit, Twitter and stuff like that stuff that were not included in Google news as well as blogs and so forth. So they're completely independent features so being in Google news doesn't mean you'll rank well in top stories and vice versa. Google's um, emojis could be found like emojis if you rank for emojis in Google it could be found in your search analytics report. So here's a screenshot showing um, 
showing um, emojis in the actual search results and how many queries and impressions and so forth the site gets. So that's pretty cool. I think this is because you can now search by emoji in Google, which is nice. Um, Google AdWords, I'm sorry, um, one second, talking about emojis. So um, AdWords, um, this is, Google told us this is not something allowed, but Google um, was showing emojis in the AdWords time. You see little cars here. Um, this is no longer showing up. This is against Google's terms of service, so they went ahead and took action on this ad. Um, but we've seen it um, more often um, in these types of places. Let me just skip again. Sorry. So we got emojis in the analytics reports. We got emojis in the AdWords. Um, so let's move on to Google AdWords. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, Google AdWords um, has now allow price extensions in the AdWords results for all devices, including desktop. So it used to only show on mobile, and now you got price extensions across everything. So now people are on, so Matt Van Wager says people are actually trying to rank for emojis. He never saw that coming. Yeah, it's, I don't see the benefit in trying to rank for emojis unless you are emoji search engine or something. Um, but maybe there's something out there that I don't know. So Google AdWords, this is pretty shocking. On the AdWords side, Google AdWords is testing a new additional description field. So when the ads are not big enough, uh, Valerio spotted this. And yeah, Bill, you should probably buy an emoji domain. Bill's always into his domain names. Um, if I don't see your comments, I'm sorry. I still have to get a stand that shows the comments over here. I'm just Every time I look down, I'm able to see it maybe. So here's a screenshot that shows um, an additional description optional field. And that makes the ad... You got the headline, headline two, you got the description, and then you have an extra description. So it actually shows an ad additional description an additional description um, in the AdWords ad, like the ads aren't big enough. Um, Google confirmed they are testing this with um, Ginny Marvin at Search Engine Land. Again, very interesting to see. This is funny. AdMob sent me an email this week. Google owns AdMob. It's the ad platform for um, mobile apps. Um, and they sent me an email saying, why am I not using interstitial ads in my, in my app? And one of the results was, I'm afraid of violating Google's policies. So it's funny that they actually are saying that. And when I clicked that, I got an email probably an hour later saying, how do you stay, this is how you stay compliant um, with um, showing interstitials. So very funny to see that. Again, Google's probably killing itself with this interstitial thing because Google's ad side versus their organic side don't really talk to each other. Bing ads editor is now officially an av out of beta and available for all Mac users globally, so you can definitely download that. It's a nice feature, and there was, a lot of people are asking for that, and now that it's fully out there. Google has killed off their AdSense, official AdSense WordPress plugin. Um, it's not available for any new publishers to sign up as today. April 5th, existing publishers will not be able to change their ad settings or add ad units to the plugin. And then on May 3rd, Google will no longer be providing any support for that AdSense plugin. Um, Google on the local side is testing swipeable horizontal cards. So it used to be just the list view. Here's the list view, but now they're like these swipeable cards, which is pretty cool. Google Assistant is now available on more Android phones, specifically Android phones in the US, powered by Android 7.0 Nougat and Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Um, and it's available to um, US users and it's expanded to Germany and UK, Canada, Australia, and so forth. Sorry. Um, the web directories, Google said that web directories do not generally help you with ranking. Obviously there's a link there, but generally web directories do not help you with rankings. And with that, Google also said that, um, Google also had an issue with um, AMP reports in the Google Search Console. So if you go to Google Search Console and you click on the AMP report under the Search Appearance tab, you'll see a significant spike in uh, traffic, or sorry, in index pages and errors. It's pretty much exactly double what your average is. Um, so it must have been a bug, and Google seems to have fixed it as of the next day on March 1st, on March 2nd. And Google AMP, this is another thing. This has been going on for a while, so it's just kind of got a lot of press right now. But Google AMP will likely inflate your traffic metrics. And this is known by... Most people who have implemented AMP because it's in the documentation, um, but, and Google themselves said, yes, it's correct, it's in our documentation, 
And basically, they say they are working on a fix, which I didn't know that. They are working on a fix, but it's not an easy fix. And basically, it could double your traffic. It could make things like look four times your traffic. It could go ahead and uh, increase your bounce rate. There's a lot of things that are you should be aware of if you do implement an AMP and you don't know what it's, how it's impacting your analytics. So there's a good uh, post there. And finally, the big news this week is that Dimas is closing down. It's one of the oldest, uh, most uh, oldest community volunteer-based um, web directories has been around for about 18 years and officially they are closing down on March 14th um, and it's going to be closed up forever. Sad to see obviously the, the Yahoo directory closed a couple years ago and this is the next directory, big directory to actually close down. In any event, thanks so much for listening, commenting live on Facebook and for everybody who watches this. Again, this is Barry Schwartz. This is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable, seroundtable.com. Today again is March 3rd, 2017. I'll see you guys next week. Everyone have a great weekend. Thanks again for watching. Bye.